Oh, that's cool. Oh, no, off road. Oh, no, God. This is probably a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway because why not? I mean, there's nobody over here. This is awesome. What is this? And then planes will fly by? Oh, hell no. I don't want to get near that. I just want to see a plane land. Nobody's back there. <gasps> a giant pool? What? What? I'm in the wrong bike to be doing this shit, but... Holy crap. <gasps> that plane is coming straight that plane is coming straight from my face. Uh, oh, can I get my phone out? Can I get my phone out in time? Uh, 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 phone. Phone. I need you to focus so hard right now, dude. You can hurry now. You can. You don't have to take your time anymore. Oh my God, dude! Look how slow it is. What the fuck? There's gonna be another one. Oh hell to the yes. All the pictures are gonna be taken right here. I'm gonna park the R6 on the other side of this and try to get some type of like angled shot or something i want to know who uses this so i know who's gonna like kick me out at some point in time eventually hopefully we can get some good reflections in the water or something yeah i don't see any property signs so i don't know like i don't know what company owns this but dude as long as they don't see you come in all right guys i'm turning the gopro off i'm gonna take some awesome photos on oh, there's a train we got trains bikes and planes Oh my, that's what I'm talking about. What's going on guys? So on this channel, you guys probably haven't seen me like this, but this is typically how I vlog on my second channel. It's more of like a personal channel type thing. So also if there's bad wind noise, I really apologize. Uh, I'm gonna show you where I am in a second. So I was out just exploring today for no damn reason, which is what the vlog, the motor vlog was when you guys were watching this. There's a brand new Porsche dealership there. That's the one we rode past and that's where we came in we being me and you, I'm by myself here, which is slightly terrifying when I tell you my plan. The plan is because that shot, the one that looks really cool, but unfortunately that guy is that high in the air and I need him to be about right there. So I've got to get home by eight. Sun goes down at 540. The golden hour, which is when the sun is almost set, is hypothetically like the best lighting anybody can ever have if you're a photographer you already know that if you're not a photographer then now you know uh it's about 3 40 now i'm gonna sit here and wait for two hours only to get really good photos of that motorcycle i think it's totally worth it so uh if you guys don't see this video that's because probably a homeless man came from one of these locations and killed me if you do see this video, then hopefully there will be some really cool pictures to accompany the cool video. You hear the noise? Those are airplanes. So, this is kind of like at the end of sunset now. I've taken a, a few photos. I'm about to get the helmet back on, but I wanted you guys to see the area a little better than what the GoPro is gonna look like. But I think a lot of the pictures came out really cool. Moved Holly around a little bit, but I stayed at the little pond. We're gonna jump back on the GoPro, get back on the bike, and then we're gonna go back to your regularly tight vlog thing. And, uh, Link in the description to go check those photos out because I think they're going to be awesome. Helmet time. And we're back in the GoPro. Alrighty guys, I can see we got the beautiful Holly here. We got the sun. The sun's pretty much gone down. And guys, I'm going to call that a successful shoot. And granted, I only messed with the pond, which might not even be here all the time. The pond could be gone next time for all I know. I'm definitely coming back here when it's dark with some tripods and get some light streak, plane action with the bike. So much potential here. Holy crap, it's six. Okay, cool. I've got to get back now. I got a little too into the freaking uh, shooting. Need to head back home now. You know, moto mumble calls. 
how worth it was that to go down that random dirt like path to find this man you guys just take that into consideration when you're riding your bike around and look there's tons of place back there that I've, I didn't even go I'm very bad about when I go ride especially when you moto vlog I'm very bad about going out and riding and then going out riding getting what I needed to get done done and then leave and like head back home one of the things I'm really pushing to start doing is to go out and dedicate hours like obviously you know you gotta make sure you're, it works for your schedule but if you can make it work with your schedule dedicate like five hours no location no mountains no nothing just five hours and go ride that gives you enough time to stop take some photos of the bike and just like not be rushed to do anything and after today this is the first day i've implemented it and holy shit, it's amazing if you're able to man you guys really need to take advantage of it i'm trying to do it in my life and so i can enjoy my bike and everything i recommend you guys trying it as well <laughs> Day one, freaking awesome. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna head out of here. I've got a, I think a highway is right over there, so I gotta head back home. I hope you guys like this video. I know this video is a little different than most videos on this channel. Typically, I'm either doing the first ride or some type of gear review, or I have a very set, um, or I have a very set topic. So, if you guys like this video, let me know, and I can implement that moving forward. And if you guys like this type of content, then I can start doing it more often. Oh, there's where I got out. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. You guys are freaking awesome. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later.